Welcome back into the channel, everyone. Today, we're gonna to put laser welding to the test. We're gonna hydroform stainless steel. Guys, we heard you. We heard you on our last pressure test where we actually pressure tested an aluminum box at 135 PSI with air. terrifying that's a grenade <laughs> right that's what everyone said so if you can't tell we've got our hydro forming setup or hydro testing it's a very common practice in the industry all across the board when it comes to pressure testing materials so that's what we got today we don't need a lot of power we've got just a simple pressure washer all rigged up so we can read our pressure how much goes in it and watch our coupons blow up what thickness is that you say rex 16 gauge or so yeah i'd say so 16 gauge and we've got ourselves our little bung to weld on so that we can have our quick connect and get everything filled up instead of doing the traditional welding methods we're going to try laser welding everyone wants to know how much pressure can it take well we're going to see how much pressure it it can hold when it comes to water. How are you gonna weld it? What are the machine settings gonna look like? Yes, before we get to the machine settings, I wanna point one thing out. When we're welding this, we're welding this edge joint here. If we butted these two together very tightly, it's gonna be difficult for the wire to track down that seam. So what we've done is we've actually just kissed the edge with an angle grinder ever so slightly and put a very small chamfer on both sides. And that'll give us a little path for the wire to track along and make it easier to follow that joint as we go around these corners. Basically, we put a groove in the middle. A real small one. All right, so we've got our wire feeder here and our Lightweld XR1500. Our wire feeder is loaded up with 045 308 stainless wire that we're feeding through the torch. It's set currently at 20 centimeters per minute. We're going for a pretty slow travel speed here because we've got a fairly small diameter bung that we need to wrap around the corner of. So that slow travel speed will give us time to wrap those corners and move the torch appropriately. We've written our own custom parameters here. We're actually pulsing the weld here. You say pulse? That's right. God, dang, we're, we're gonna, gonna pulse stack it. some dimes. We're gonna stack them right. So we're pulsing at four hertz, running 800 watts with a wobble length of 1.4 millimeters. That's gonna give us just enough wobble to consume the wire and the edges of this joint. And the pulse, in part, will give us that time to reposition and wrap the torch around all those corners. I'm gonna get this out of your way, man. I'm gonna let you weld everything up. Guys, remember, laser welding is unlike any other process that you use. We wanna be perfectly safe. We've got our Kentec laser safe barrier in here with the interlock system hooked up. So if anyone comes into this area while we're welding, that laser is gonna cut off. We've got our laser safe glasses. We've got our laser safe hoods. We're square business, we're good to go. Make sure you have all that stuff before you even try to laser weld. Safety first, you only got two eyes. You don't wanna waste them. So I'm just gonna clamp this up. We're gonna put a few tacks on here to hold this whole thing together. And then we'll start welding all these seams. Right, here's the base. So I don't shoot my fingers. The hundreds of people that I've trained over the past three or four years, I've never actually seen anyone have an ocular incident with a laser, at least a handheld laser. The thing that I run into the most in terms of actual laser hazards are people who are used to arc welding and they're, they're holding hold apart like with their fingers and they shoot through their glove with the laser. It's the fastest way to grab something, but I'll tell you, it's not the safest way to do it. So I'm just gonna uncap this really quick. It's very good practice to keep the laser capped when not in use. It keeps dust and debris from getting up onto your cover slide. If you ever do get your wires stuck while you're handheld laser welding, the best thing to do is pay out about an inch or so, trim it, and you've got enough leverage to break that wire off. Nobody will ever know you got the wire stuck. If you trim it too short, you'll leave a stub, and if you try to shoot it off, you're just gonna leave marks all over your part. Trim up and get a good restart here. This corner, again, I'm keeping the handle parallel to what I'm welding. So when I start this corner, I'm gonna be horizontal. And by the time I make myself all the way around here, I'm gonna be vertical. 
and I need one fluid motion of the torch from start to stop. Just like that. Here, I'll, I'll turn these other ones so you can actually see what's going on. How about that? All right, and we'll switch back over to our pulse welding mode here, and we'll weld this out. There we go. Look at the colors, dude. Yeah, and look, if we wire brush this here. Beautiful. Let's blow it up. All right, Rex, so we're gonna put it to the pressure. You ready for it? Let's do it. All right, we've got our pressure washer set up. It's a pretty simple process, hydro testing and hydro forming. We're just simply just filling this thing full of water. We're gonna keep a close eye on this gauge here to see how much pressure I got. Once I let go of this handle, this pressure washer can't push too much, so you'll see this gauge kind of fluctuate. So we're gonna have to pause it at some point where we see some of that max PSI so that we get to see how much pressure it holds. Hook me up. Let's do it. Hook it up. All right, Bubba, you ready? Ready as I'll okay. ever be. You gotta be here, you welded it. Pin it. Easy peasy. No leaks so far. We got a leak coming right out of the fitting here, but. If someone didn't it. tighten that, you're not a good plumber. I am not. Holy ball sacks. All right, we got a leak right here at the fitting. So I think the laser weld safely held, I don't know how much pressure. I am not. Holy ball sacks. We'll have to go look at that in post. Yeah, we're gonna definitely have to look at that in post, but I think that's about all the water that we could fit in that sucker. I didn't bring a change of clothes. Gonna need that vice, cowboy. <laughs> yeah, we are. All that pressure is still in there. You ready? Yeah. There we go. All right, we're just gonna let it trickle. I'm not, I'm not taking a bath today. Here we go, we're golden now. Yeah, that, that wasn't as exciting as you wanted, was uh, it? I guess we're just gonna wait for <laughs> Rex to get his, a lot of water in here. his trophy done. It's got a little vacuum. I really don't it. want to drill a hole. You guys can see clear as day. 1,000 PSI to the stainless steel pillow, laser welded. And it holds a big enough vacuum that it still won't leak. Very proud of his work. Thanks for welding with me today, no Rex. No problem. It was really fun. We'll see you guys on the next weld. See you later. <laughs> well, before we get to the machine settings, I want to point one thing out. When we're welding this, based on the geometry that we have, we're actually doing uh, a corner joint here, and it's very similar to a butt it's weld. edge joint. It's an edge joint. All right. Yeah. Got him. Let me just disconnect it. 2,000 years later. There we go, look. Now we can leave it alone.